scammers calling people asking, can you hear me? They're hoping to get the person on the other end to simply say yes. Yeah, it's a dirty trick. If you do it, you could be in big trouble. News 8's Stephanie Simone talked to someone who was not going to fall for that trick. It was a number Don Sanders did not know, but she heard four words she knew to be wary of. Then the next thing I know, he says, can you hear me? And that's why I immediately hung up. Then she immediately blocked the number. She said it was not a recording and the number came from Michigan. She had heard of the can you hear me scam, also known as the yes scam. The yes is in effect a voice signature and a voice signature is a legitimate tool for businesses. He says with your voice recorded saying yes, thieves can use it to verify charges on your phone, credit card or utility bills. He says there are nearly 2,000 reports of this happening across the country. And it started very quickly towards the end of January and spread like wildfire. He says in one case a person lost thousands. So far there are about 30 reports of this scam here in the state. I feel people need to know about this because yes, we could it could affect an elderly person so unlimited income. I mean, if they're after their financials, this is important. Schwartz says they might be trying to get you to say yes, or they might just be trying to sell you a phony vacation. Either way, it's always a good idea to just hang up the phone like Sanders did, or don't pick up any phone calls from numbers you don't recognize. In New Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8.